The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today is going to be Arch Crawford. Uh, Stan Harley's a little bit under the weather, so we'll have Stan on maybe next week. He's got a really bad case of the flu. Uh, the first chart we're going to look at today, of course, here is the German DAX. You can see it's completing the big ABCD uh, pattern that's been in vogue, much like we've seen in some of these other markets. So keep a mile, keep uh, keep that in mind. I wanted to uh, bring to your attention one thing that uh, let's do the FTSE first, folks. I forgot to bring that one up because it is also making an ABCD. And and uh, you'll be able to see it uh, easily right here. We're, in fact, I think we're there right now as we speak. This was done a little while ago, so it should be there uh, pretty closely uh, to that one. So anyway, watch it very, very closely would be my guess. Uh, we'll be watching to see how that ends up today. Just looking at the E-mini S&P today, uh, we were looking at a high somewhere around that 14, excuse me, 30, uh, 12, 30, <laughs> 30, 32 to 30, 35 area. That's the area that we were watching for the S&P to see if it's going to uh, see if it's going to work. But we'll we'll do those uh, later on, um, folks. Let me let me explain. This is something that a lot of folks you might not realize this, but let's take a look at this. This happens to be uh, the chart of uh, Microsoft. Let's get it up here so we can take a look at it. The reason why I'm bringing that up, folks, if if you look at the if you look at the DAX index. And this is really amazing. If you look at the DAX index, if you look at the FANG stocks, Microsoft, that's 45%. Those six stocks is 45% of that index. Now, if you think that's not big, that's big. <laughs> and remember, in the Dow Jones, you've got two of the biggest stocks, Apple and Boeing. So when Apple moves, that's it. And I've, I'm going to bring this to your attention because I think it's really important, but you know, I'm just a pattern recognition guy. So here's uh, here's what we're watching here. We're, we're a little higher this morning in in uh, Apple, as we should be. But we're completing some major ABCD patterns here. And believe me, if you if you really want to see how how powerful those ABCD patterns are in the uh, Apple, just take a look at the next chart that we have here, because this one goes back. Let's just put it up here so we can see it. This one goes back uh, eight years. I think it's eight, isn't it? Yeah, ten, nine years. And, uh, you know, these patterns work pretty good. Maybe this one doesn't work because it's going to go straight up. But major ABCD, uh, long consolidation here in Microsoft. So, and, you know, Netflix, Netflix doesn't look that good. Uh, you know, Amazon's came back pretty good. But, uh, you know, some of these stocks don't look quite that good. But, you know, who knows? The one that's really, uh, you know, they're beating the bonds up today, folks. We're pretty much getting to the moment of truth here uh, in the bonds. We'll bring this up here and show you some of the patterns that we're paying attention here. There should be some pretty strong support at the 129 level in the bonds. But whether it is or not, you know, I'm not absolutely sure. But you know what? Nobody else is either. That's the main thing. Folks, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. That's the thing that you want to be uh, calling in on if you'd like to uh, leave it. Now, the next one is going to be the exciting one. We've been posting that chart of Bitcoin, and we had several people. Uh, I'm going to do both of the charts so you'll be able to see them. Here's one here. This one comes in from our good friend Bob Miner, and uh, <laughs> very good. Very good timing, S&P. Very good. There's there's the one from Bob Miner. There's a perfect 61% retracement Gartley pattern. And then we got another one from our good friend uh, and my former student uh, here in Tucson, Kerry Szymanski, and at Harmonic Trading. And his had one also. And we had a heck of a move, folks. We went from uh, 7,200 in that puppy uh, all the way up to, uh, wow, we're trading at 10,000. That's had a that's had a 25% move, folks, in three days. So there's some type of a bottom came in for sure in uh, Bitcoin. But it was spot on. 
And uh, what we failed to do last week was look at the larger picture. We were just looking at that area going down, and we didn't. Go, we went below that area, but didn't go down right away. So that was the first key that maybe it was going to uh, look at. So we'll we'll see whether that's going to be. Can someone give me be kind enough to give me the last price of uh, Apple, please? I would like to know how it's doing this morning because I think it's uh, we're in a topping mode in Apple. My opinion, of course, and my opinions is like. Uh, an armpit. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. Let's move on to the next one here. No one's going to give me the price of Apple. All right. Thanks a lot, boys and girls. You're always so helpful here. This is really great to make my job easy. Okay, 247. All righty. That's what I want to hear because we closed at 246, so it's up a buck. The area I was looking at was 245. That's the big ABCD. Thank you, folks, for bringing that to my attention. We'll uh, keep an eye on that one uh, very, very closely. Now, let's... Uh, Let's bring up the uh, gold contract here because this was a very interesting pattern that we had Friday. We, we talked about this pattern. We were up in the morning. Uh, if you remember, we were trading at 15.32. That was $32 from the bottom that we talked about at 1490 that we sent out, you know, saying had really strong support there. So $32 stopped exactly at that point, 78% retracement of the high that we made back on October the 2nd. Uh, and also, if, uh, you know, on these, uh, some of these candlestick patterns are, are quite unique. The one we're looking at here in the gold is called the hanging man. Uh, the opposite of that, of course, is the hammer. But if you'll notice, there's been one, two, three, four, five hanging men uh, patterns here, and all of them worked, uh, I mean, to a very, very significant correction. So let's uh, pay attention to that, because we've come off, uh, we've now come down from 22 down to uh, 1,500 even. So we're down $22, and where it should be at major support here at uh, this level of 1,500. And that should be very, very important and better hold. So that's the key to... Uh, you know, keeping an eye on this as we look at that. So anyway, those are those are the ones that look real interesting this morning. So uh, keep your uh, eye on the ball. Folks, today is a special uh, new moon today, and it is uh, Mr. Uh, Arch Crawford from C Crawford Perspectives is going to come on and talk to us about why this why this moon is uh, such a uh, such an important one. So we'll see how that uh, see how that works out as we move through uh, some of these uh, other charts that we have to look at uh, this morning. So we covered that. Then several people have asked about the natural gas. We've had a nice ABCD pattern formed in the natural gas up here. So tighten your stops up real close if you're still in that. Don't risk more than $3 from where it is right now because that's a big ABCD and it should hold that level. I think I can uh, bring that up here if I have it. Uh, give me one second. Uh, uh, you know what we're doing is we're switching over, folks, from the uh, October to, excuse me, from November to December. So uh, this is the chart for the, uh, uh, so we, we got up there and completed that ABCD. So make sure that you tighten up your stops really tightly if you went into that one, because we've been bullish along with Mr. Z on that one, and it's had a heck of a move. So let's keep that in mind. 877-927-6648. Uh, If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. Regarding the Bitcoin, I uh, heard something on uh, Bloomberg today that the reason why the uh, market had moved so quickly is that the premier of China, uh, Pre Premier Xi, came out with uh, uh, a thing about uh, – cryptocurrencies and, and blockchains for China, and that's what made it. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's uh, that's what I heard. So I don't know if that means anything or not. I, I hate to spread a rumor, but that, that's what I heard, that why it moves so much. But I that I don't know. They're having that big meeting in China uh, this week, so that's probably part of it, whether it means anything or not. You know, I, I really don't know. Folks, uh, what the reason why the uh, the gold is so important down in here? Because last night is uh, we made an exact 382 retracement in the gold at that 1510 level. Uh, that was an ABCD structure uh, exactly. You know, coming off the bottom that we had at 02 on Friday, just rallied eight dollars, and then of course it's gone down to make new lows. At this key level, watching at 1499. If we get below 1496, folks, we're looking at a really serious correction in the gold market that we have said this could easily take us down to that 1460 level. And that's also a possibility that it would be able to do that. Let's take a look here at the Treasury bonds, folks. They're under a great deal of pressure here this morning. Get this, uh, no, not a great deal, but they're, well, they are. They're down more than a point. You'll, you'll see here that the uh, we had that big ABC. CD pattern in the uh, open interest with the open interest dropping up there back in uh, uh, late August. Then we came down, open interest was dropping again when we rallied into October. And now we're getting down, we're trading below 159 this morning. So, uh, you know, that sets up a possibility we could make 156 without too much trouble. It seems like the uh, a concept of zero interest rates has left us for a little bit. It'll come back and make a, an appearance a little bit later. But uh, right now, this market is under some severe pressure. Whether that'll continue or not, I don't know. Remember, folks, I'm a technician. I don't really look at the fundamentals at all. I have not read a Wall Street Journal or IBD 
uh, in, oh my gosh, I, I can't even think of the years that it's been, no magazines, anything like that. I, I do look at Bloomberg uh, occasionally and CNBC to get some ideas for the show and hear what people are talking about. But frankly, I, I just look at the charts. You know, I, uh, when I hear something bullish and it's going up, then I know it's working. If you see something bullish and it's going down, it's not acting the way that it should. So those are things that you've got to remember. We've seen this over and over again when uh, things like this happen. Look, look what happened to Amazon. You know, it had this tremendous, let's just get that chart up because that was an interesting chart uh, that we had. Uh, let's get it up here, I believe here. And we have a lot of patterns are completing in some of these things, but, uh, you know, we'll be able to see there's Netflix has had a little bit of a bottom. Let me get the, the Amazon one up. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Where is the old? That's Apple. Uh, folks, let me know when Apple opens up, please. I want to see if it hits 250 this morning. Not that that's a magical number or not. It's just that I want to. Here's, here's Amazon. Let's just get this up here. You'll be able to see what happened. We opened 120 some dollars lower. It's one of the reasons why we had, uh-oh, just a second. That's not going to work. Move this over. Yeah, here we go. Get this up here. We opened down a hundred and some dollars. We tested the lows of uh, late September, and then we rallied back. Didn't quite close up on the day, but we did rally $130, which is one heck of a rally, which pushed uh, the NASDAQ up uh, quite a bit. And that was another one that made it look like it was going to go a great deal higher. And, of course, it do has done that. So that's uh, one of the ones that we're paying close attention to uh, this morning. And as I mentioned, we will have Arch Crawford as our guest here uh, as when we come in here uh, this morning a little bit later uh, to take a look at some of these things that we're paying attention to this morning. Okay. Well, all righty. Now, the next one we want to keep an eye on here is the uh, uh, crude oil. Crude oil, very interesting chart, as they say, very interesting picture. Let's get it up here because we are in an area where it's going to have either a breakout to the upside or it's getting ready to rock and roll over. So let's put it up here. Take a quick look at the crude. You'll be able to see that we made the bottom down there. Late September, now we've completed an ABCD pattern. We're getting right up to the magical area of 57. So watch $57 a barrel. Now remember, we have the Aramco uh, thing coming out of Saudi Arabia pretty soon. That is going to be so big, folks. It, Aramco will be bigger than Apple, believe it or not. It's going to be 2% of the value of all the stocks traded. I heard that on Bloomberg. I, I, I'm repeating that from someone on Bloomberg. I, I'd have to do the, which I don't have time to do, to check if that's right. But someone told me that it would be 2%, not someone, but someone on uh, Bloomberg said 2% of the value of Aramco will be all the value of all the stocks. That is a lot. So they have a lot of, uh, of reasons to make the uh, – the thing, you know, hang out, stay higher, you know what I mean? Get that price of that, that oil up. Otherwise, it's going to make the uh, offering, uh, you know, a little lower. I don't know. You know, these offerings, they, they do those things with fake news just like everything else. Folks, if you have any questions today, it's 877-927-6648. By the way, we've been watching the price of hogs. And if you remember, we said the price of hogs is very important at that 63 level. So pay very, very close attention to that because it's a it's an interesting one that should be uh, should be followed also. So uh, keep a very, keep a very close eye on it. That's really the bottom line of what you really want to do. <clears throat> All right. Now, <clears throat> oh, excuse me one second, folks. Got a frog in my. Uh, the highest high we had yesterday in the crude oil was 56.85. We're trading at 56.77 right now, I can see from the tube. So if we can get this thing above uh, 57, it could have legs and uh, could start to move up to uh, – to 58 if it's going to do that. Should have strong resistance at 57, however. That's what the way it looks like from the cheap seats here in Tucson. So keep an eye on that. Regarding the currencies, folks, uh, the currencies have been relatively quiet. Uh, and we've, we've made those really nice ABCD patterns that we've you know, we've shown you before. We're going to show them to you again because they're that important. This is the big one in the dollar index. 
And uh, we've had a nice five-day rally. Hasn't really gone anywhere, but it stopped exactly at the 61% retracement. And now we should be, uh, after this five-day rally, which was, I mean, telling you how weak it was. I mean, it only went from 56, excuse me, 96.90 to uh, 97.80. I mean, it's almost 100 points, which is very little. So nothing really exotic happening here. So... We'll have to do one thing at a time as we look at. I think the most interesting chart this week has been the Bitcoin chart. And I, you know, I don't trade Bitcoin. I look at it when somebody sends me a chart. But I got two of those uh, showing you the same Gartley patterns from one from Bob Miner and the other from Kerry Sismansky. So uh, those were those were absolutely perfect. And to have a 25 percent rally in that thing is really, uh, really something quite a bit. Uh, Mr. Z is asking a you know, daily chart for S. Uh, Higher targets do I see? Uh, the, the, my, I gave you the targets. The, all the targets that I see are related to that one that I brought up this morning, folks. I'll give it to you again because it's going to be, uh, I said it would be somewhere between uh, 3032 and uh, 3035. 3035 is the 1.618 expansion on that one, Mr. Z. That's where, that's where, the, that's where the Cowboys come to play. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And without further ado, we have my good friend and raconteur, Mr. Arch Crawford, on the line. Sam, how are you today? Delighted, sir. 
<laughs> Sam, tell us about this uh, new moon that we have yesterday. What What is so special about that? Well, I didn't think it was that special, and then I looked at the chart, and uh, it's on the tightest, it's on the highest radiation source in the sky. And um, I remember back in 86, um, there was a um, there was a full moon on that point, and because it's the highest radiation source in the sky, I said, there's going to be something big deal about radiation. And uh, sure enough, four days later, Chernobyl melted down. <laughs> wow. And it raised the radiation level, background radiation level of the whole sky, of the whole wow. Earth, excuse me. Uh -huh. So wow. um, I'm just wondering if anything like that might happen in the next few days. Okay, that's clear enough. What do you see happening in uh, the gold market, Sam? We've had several questions about that. Uh, we're trading right around 1500 now. Any uh, any thoughts? Um, I think it's very bullish that it hasn't been able to pull back very far, and I think it's been ready to go again. Okay, that makes certainly makes good sense. It had one heck of a move on Friday, and of course, had a sort of a reversal day. But uh, how about uh, what's your feeling on the stock market? Are we going to go to thirty thousand in the Dow today, or will it take two days to get there? At least two days, I think. <laughs> However, Any feeling? Go ahead. Um, if, if you've been looking at my letter, uh, I've had this uh, the SPX weekly chart. Uh, uh huh. On the, on the cover, on the front page, and it's been a broadening pattern or megaphone. Perfect, right out of the book, with a high, a low, a higher high, a lower low, and, and then a higher high. Now, yes. what is developing in the last, um, I guess it's several months, is that we're in a rising wedge within... The megaphone pattern. Mm -hmm. The megaphone pattern is is two years long. The rising wedge is like I don't know five months long. Wow! But I'd say that that um, is more likely because of these patterns developing. Uh huh. And it's up against the resistance right now. Well, and well, here we are. We're over a new out. moon. Sometimes these new moons turn the market. They've done it before, but whether it does it this time or not remains to be seen. It remains to be seen, yes. Yeah. Isn't it unusual for us to have a have a strong October? I mean, that that's a very, very contra-seasonal because usually October is the month of uh, of lows, and yet this, this, this October has been the month of the high. Maybe it's a trick-or-treat month. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it's... Well, we're coming up to that, too. What do we get uh, tomorrow is the um, 90th anniversary of the crash in 29. Oh, that's right. It Right. That's exactly right. Well, that's amazing. Well, we went through the one in uh, 87 without too much of a fanfare, so who knows whether it'll do it or not this time. What do you it does mean? I don't remember 87 was a pretty yeah. big deal. Yeah, 87 was a big deal. But, you know, when you look at it on the charts long term, Sam, I mean, it looks like a little burp. That's right. And b b believe me, I can remember it was far from a little burp. I mean, I was I was short that day and still scared to death. <laughs> it was. Uh, we were scared it, that the system will break down. Yes, that's that's what I was worried about getting the money out. I have, I you know, Sam, I made a really serious mistake. Well, not a serious mistake. I was I was short stocks and I covered probably the first hour because it was down, uh, oh dear, 300 points. And I said, oh dear, this is this is what I was expecting was 300. I didn't think it'd be more than that, but. Uh, 
uh, the thing was I was in bonds, and bonds were trading down about a half a point. And, and when I retrospectively looked at it, they were acting really strong, considering what was happening with the rest of the world. And uh, that was the best trade, because over the next 10 days, that bond market, I think it went about 10 or 12 handles, uh, it just absolutely straight up. So, you know, it was really, uh, you know, really amazing to, to see how to see how well it did. So it's very, very interesting to see how these things uh, really move. It's uh, really quite exciting was, when you watch. That was the biggest down day in history, percentage-wise. Oh, yes. Yeah, we were down 16%. So that's, that's a pretty yeah. big deal any day that happens. <laughs> yeah, amen to that, brother. Amen to that. You're down absolutely right. like 22%. On the wow. Yeah, wow, that's a good one. Wow, that's really good. So it was that's down five hundred and eight. Five hundred and eight. Boy, that's a. what do you but what do you was think would be twenty two twenty two hundred at the top yeah. today? <laughs> do you, Sam, do you do you ever think we'll we'll see another crash like that in our lifetime? I mean you, you and I are I the think, same age, so we we'll better see. we better we better count the marbles on this one pretty pretty close to the vest. I think we'll see worse, but what I wanted to point out was that 508 is uh, Art Cashin's uh, number on the floor. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. I've got a nice guy he is. He's just a super, super fellow. That's for sure. Hey, listen, um, anyway, how can the folks reach you if they would like to you know, take a, take a gander at your uh, letter? What's the best way to reach you? Um, my uh, Crawford Perspectives at earthlink.net. Or arch.ah.crawford at gmail.com. Either one. Okay. Um, you can go to the website and check it out for yourself. And I'm saying, if you haven't, don't know anything about me, go down all the way to the bottom on the left, and there's a lot of very interesting stuff that has happened over time, including the fact that I was. Uh, my hand was sticking out of the ground in, a, in one uh, uh, episode of the X-Files. They said, who's that? They said, that's the Wall Street astrologer. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, that's good. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us today, buddy. We really appreciate it and uh, hope to see you one of these days. I know you live a couple of miles away, but we should meet more than we do. We'll so, uh, be delighted. All right, listen, take it easy, pal, and uh, tell Joanne I said hello, and we'll have you on again in another couple of weeks. How's that? Very good, sir. Uh, yeah, by the way, if you ever see something that you really think you want to be on, just give me a call, and I'll work you in, because you've got some, you've had some really great calls over the years. I'd like to see, you know, what uh, what you have going on. All right. Okay? All right. Thanks. Thank you, folks. Right. That was Sam Crawford of the Crawford Perspectives. We call him Sam. He's got about six first names, and his nickname is Sam to his friends, uh, which I am thankful to be one. So we'll watch it. we got the market really smoking now. We've got the S&P finally hit, hasn't quite hit 3040 yet. We got up to 3039 so far. Uh, gold's breaking down now below 14, uh, 1400, 14, uh, 1500. So we'll be right back after these words from our sponsor. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and uh, we want to be watching uh, the uh, – here, here's an interesting pattern here. I just pulled this up. I happened to be – as we were taking a break here, I happened to pull this up here. This is over the last uh, four days here in Apple. Uh, we'll just get this pattern up so you'll be able to see it. It's a, it'd be a day trading pattern, possibly. We're down – we're up almost 248 now, but you can see there's a three-drive pattern there since the uh, 23rd you know, for four or five days ago. So we can easily, you know, exceed this. But uh, that just happens to be one of the patterns that we're that we're keeping an eye on. We just hit 3041. Oh, yeah, 3041 in the S&P. Gold is breaking down badly, folks. This is a really bad sign in the gold market. I'm telling you, it looks just really, really negative. We've given up now from 22. We've driven 28 bucks back. Uh, the other one that's looking bad is the Treasury bonds. I mean, you know, it doesn't have any friends in here. We're down near some pretty serious support here in the, in the notes, but it's still not acting that way. So this is going to be a real active day, folks. I would not be surprised to see reversals in a lot of these things because of the volatility that we're seeing early in the morning. Usually when that happens, uh, they play uh, games uh, on both sides of the market. So watch that. The crude oil went up, made a new high from yesterday by two cents and it's given back a little bit. So sort of keep an eye on that one. That one's in play because uh, we've got the natural gas, uh, excuse me, not natural gas, but the uh, natural gas is actually completing an ABCD pattern up here, folks. So if you're long natural gas, we got the Christmas natural gas trading at 240. Move your stop up to about 236. So you don't want to give any of that back. But that's, uh, that's absolutely for sure. We got gold trading at 1495. We're now down, how much is that? 20, we're down 20. $27 from the high on Friday, folks, and that was supposed to be a breakout, but it was not a breakout. It was nothing more than a, the market hitting the exact 78% level, and I'm going to do the gold first. And uh, here we got, uh-oh, something's beeping here. What do we got going? Something's just hit. Let's check. Oh, it only hit once. Let's just double check to see what it was. Uh, it was, uh, oh, the natural gas getting up there to the uh, to that ABCD structure. So keep an eye on that one. That's going to be a real interesting one to uh, take a look at. So. As we move here uh, through the rest of these, let's take a look at silver because silver was even more uh, uh, 
telling. If you'll take a look here at the silver market, what happened on Friday in silver, you'll get up here. Uh, someone's asking a question here. Uh, you'll notice that the high we made in silver at that uh, 1840 level was an exact 786 to the tick, folks, from the high we made on September the 23rd, and it was a 50% retracement of the high that we made on September the 3rd. So that is a very important, and now we're, we're trading below uh, 18 again, so that's a really big, and the, the problem was, yes, the hanging man on that gold chart is they're very powerful. So we'll look at them. You know, there's six of them. All six of them have worked. And now we're almost down to the $32 harmonic number uh, on the downside. That comes in around $14.90. So below $14.90, uh, it, you're looking at some serious stuff. We, we still think there's a possibility of making the uh, 14 uh, 60 level in the gold market. Whether it does it or not, I don't know. But that's uh, that's neither what, that's what we're looking at. So either here or there. Let's pay attention to it. We saw the same thing. We'll get back to the crude oil. We saw the same thing in the crude oil that we were seeing in the uh, in the uh in the heating oil that we were seeing in the crude oil. You see the same thing here? We were up against that 61% retracement. That's that same number that we're looking in crude oil. So pay attention to that. I, th I think it's worth the, you know, the price of admission. And if you look at it just a little closer and go into the third part of the component of the net of, a, of, of a Saudi Arabia's favorite product, crude oil, you'll see that that was also a 61% retracement on the gasoline futures. So all of those are lining up the same way. So whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But you know what, folks? Nobody else does either. So let's uh, keep that in mind. It's a very interesting situation here that we've got going. And we're going to find out whether these things are going to hold or not, and then we will move on to the next one. That's the main thing that we're watching here this morning. Let's take a quick look here at the uh, the Apple. Let's see where we're trading here in the old Apple, whether we get to the 248 level. That was one of the things. Someone had a, a price target. Yes, we did. We hit 248.36. We're trading at uh, 248.10. Someone had a price objective on that, but today, because it was up, he changed the price objective to uh, uh, 320, in other words, from 280 uh, to 320. So those are just some of the ones that we're, that we're paying it close to. We're almost ready to take out the... Uh, uh, take out the low... Or excuse me, take out the... Uh, uh, low in the bond market below that uh, 158 level, folks. That's getting down to that 157. That's going to be interesting. And uh, you know, there's a big risk on today because they're buying a lot of stocks. Uh, they're selling bonds. They're selling gold. And of course, uh, that should be risk on for gold, but it's not. So let's uh, let's watch that. Uh, you know, very very closely. It should be very interesting to see how this thing. Uh, See how this thing unfolds here before we uh, get along. But there, the the, uh, oh, the fact of the uh, uh, negative interest rates. Uh oh, we lost uh, we lost connection here. Shut the front door. Can anybody hear me? Broadsword to Danny boy. Broadsword to Danny boy. Come in, Danny boy. Okay, uh, it showed that my internet connection went out, but evidently it, uh, sorry folks, uh, I don't know what happened, but it said internet connection was out, but it's back. So let's see what's, uh, see what's moving on here. Wow, we got the bonds down another full point, 158.07. They have no friends at all today, folks. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, uh, I'll I'll be a friend that around that 157 level, so we'll be watching it very very closely as we go through. Wow, 1493 on the uh, the gold boy, they're really uh, really hammering that pretty good too. Someone's got a question, I believe. Uh, okay, uh, blank page, no chart. Uh, I don't know what the problem is with the technical part of it, folks. Well, we're almost at the end of the show anyway, but that was the last one. Uh, you have the gasoline chart up. Let's, let's do the next one we want to do is to uh, bring up the uh, – the last one I wanted to bring up was the one on the uh, – the Treasury notes because we're we're down here now, folks. Let's just get it. I already did that one. Let's do it again because we're now breaking down below that key level of 129 in the notes. And if you'll notice that there's uh, just a tiny bit of support right below that at the uh, 128.24 level. But again, it's very very. Uh, remember, folks, just just six weeks ago, the whole world 
wanted to buy the bonds and open interest was dropping you know this is not a that's not a rocket science one so pay attention to that that's a real interesting one to uh, to be to be watching but uh, this gold's in big trouble folks uh, we're now 1493 and it looks like we're going to be heading down uh, even further so we'll pay very very close attention to that one I'll, I'll mention it one more time if you're in the natural gas it's just completed the ABCD pattern up there uh, you know you nobody wanted to buy it at 222 now it's at uh, 242 so uh, make sure you tighten your stop up that's a two thousand dollar move you don't want to give any of that back so that's a uh, pay close attention and keep an eye on that crude oil too because we made a higher high than yesterday by three ticks and didn't go anywhere that's that's a sign there's not a lot of buying so that's another one that you want to sort of keep an eye on so those are the main ones we're gonna have to pay a few bills and we'll be right back eight seven seven nine Nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I just noticed that Apple actually gapped up a dollar and a half uh, when I passed it, posted that three drive pattern that was showing the overnight uh, 
market, but the regular market it did gap up. Uh, someone asked a question about the hogs. We're down near that major support, now at around 63, folks. If the hogs go below 62, they're not any good. So pay uh, pay close attention to that. Uh, they've been trading technically pretty nicely, but that's pretty much it. We've had a potential here uh, of the uh, grains making a slightly higher high, which we've done, and we could be in a corrective mode in the soybeans and stuff, too. So sort of watch that as we look about it, uh, the first half hour of trading that we have here. Okay, I think that's about all we're looking at here this morning. So let's uh, keep in mind that we have a... Uh, uh, another guest coming up later in the week. Oh, dear, who was that? Uh, oh, Bill Meridian should be here on Friday. Uh, that'll be good. That will be the first day of uh, November, which will be interesting. He's certainly been right on these markets. We'll see what's going on. But uh, we've now dropped... Uh, $29 from the high on Friday, folks. So we hit $14.93 in the uh, in the gold. Uh, we hit uh, $15.22. Can you imagine in 20 in just a few hours how much it's given back? So I'm sure that can never happen in the stock market, but it happens in gold and crude oil and some of the others. But we'll see how these things uh, end up. Also, as a final warning, make sure that you have your stops tightly closed in the natural gas because we're completing that pattern up here and you have to respect the ABCD patterns. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but uh, that's the main thing. And I still believe that Apple pattern is a good one because it's just, just too many numbers up there between 245 and something higher. So we'll see how that moves out. So this is it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and try to do something for someone who has a lot less than you today, folks. That's what we're watching. So we'll talk to you on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless.